Many people say that there's a thin line between love and hate. There's also a thin line between the dead and the living. You decide where one line ends and the other begins as you follow my stories. <laughs> The dreams began in 2001. They were so sensual and terrifying. I'd wake up drenched in sweat and trembling from the intensity. I resented the physical invasion of my body. I couldn't understand why I was having these kinds of dreams. Over time, I became a different person. I became mean with an I don't give a fuck attitude. I didn't like the person I was becoming, yet I had no control over it. I didn't tell anyone what I was experiencing. I began to drink thinking that if I get drunk enough before bed that I wouldn't have the dreams. I was wrong. The demons would attack me with their warded phalluses. They would put them in my head, my ear my knee, my spine, my elbow rutting into me for 10 to 20 seconds. Oh my God, the pain. I could hear them saying, Bitch, bitch, you're mine, bitch. Ha ha, you're mine, stupid bitch. I'd wake up paralyzed and screaming in pain. Eventually, I began to think of killing myself. The demons knew it and the attacks intensified. Imagine every night being attacked by entities you have no control over, pushing themselves into you night after night, year after year. I couldn't take it anymore. So I decided to end it all. So I took a bus to the lake and began to walk along the lake. There was no one about and I found an area where the water was deepest and went in. I thought that I would find peace in death, but it's 100 times worse. It's been two years and no one has found me yet. Thank you for tuning in to Madame Mystique, where the dead can become your reality. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Till next time.